All right, hello everyone. Welcome to Court of the Rings on Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook. I am Lotro's Community Manager, Cordovan, and I'll be with you for the next hour, hanging out, having some fun, doing some q and I'm going to be doing some festival stuff today, uh, mostly because we're at a point, uh, well, the Farmer's Fair just kicked off here this week, so that's why I'll be doing that. But I, uh, we're in a position where we're full speed ahead on Gundabad development. But it's going to be a little bit yet until we're ready for Bull Roar. So in terms of a lot of the new development news, I don't actually have a lot for you today. I can say, though, we've got some pretty cool stuff that are going to be happening in the near future. So I wanted to get to that right away to start off the show. But I also did want to welcome everyone. Hello, everyone. How you doing? How are ya? It's nice to see you. Also, hello, Mick Vegan Pants MVP. Uh, no quest for you today. I actually uh, planned ahead by that or on that one. So there we go. Hello, ever uh, to everyone on Facebook. Hello to everyone on YouTube, and hello to everyone on Reddit. What? Reddit.com/r/lotro. Uh, you know that the Reddit has been around for a very long time uh but just so happens that we don't do a lot of posting on it well that's about to change because i'm going to be posting after the show here today in the subreddit uh a q and a thread and what we're going to do one week from today is have our producer reninia join me on the court of the ring show so one week from today we're going to focus on questions from that Reddit thread. Now, that thread's going to be up for a week. So there's a better than average chance that there's going to be more questions in there than we could answer in a week. But we'll, that doesn't really matter because we're still going to find an hour's worth of questions and answer them. A week from today here, noon Eastern on Twitch. Facebook and YouTube, Court of the Rings. Uh, Reninia will join me and we'll do that Q&A a week from today. That thread's going to go up uh, on Reddit this afternoon. And uh, so I did want to call that out. The other piece I wanted to call out is that next Wednesday, 2 p.m. Eastern, we have our next casual stroll with Scenario. And I the vote is still up. Let me get that thread up here. Over on Facebook and uh, Twitch. I'll vote, but it kind of looks like unless people feel strongly otherwise, Enidwaith is where that uh, where we're going to be going next Wednesday, 2 p.m. Eastern on twitch.tv slash stream. Casual stroll with scenario, world builder. Uh, some good insight into the creation process of our vast landscapes and other areas in the Lord of the Rings online. So that's cool. Um, and that'll be next Wednesday, 2 p.m. Eastern. We managed to squeeze it in an hour earlier. Lately, we've been doing either 3 or 4 p.m., but that kind of interferes with the streamer on the channel. Sorry. So uh, what we're doing instead is we're, we're able to move it to 2 p.m. So it'll go straight into Lady Faye there. So that should be pretty cool. Anyway, that's going to happen next Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern on twitch.tv slash stream. Let me do a quick shout out to the raid group, the kinship Exodia. Uh, they did a Durin's Bane Tier 5 World First here this week. That happened on August 10th, so that would have been, well, I don't know exactly when the timing was, but the video went up on Tuesday was that Tuesday? When was the 10th? Yes. Hey, oh my god, I got it right. Tuesday afternoon is when that went up on the Lotro forums. Um, so, hey, you want to do a shout out for that because, hey, Exodia, that was amazing. And the video was, I think, pretty incredible as well to watch. You can really see some of the, like, they have a lot of sort of plugins in that that they use to help coordinate those raids. And you can really see how it all comes together in a way that facilitates uh, their success. 
they kind of just barely got over the finish line on this one, but it doesn't matter because they got over the finish line, and that's ultimately, uh, as far as we can tell as well, the first time that has happened. So congratulations to Exodia for the uh, first Tier 5 Fall of Casa Doom. So there you go. Uh, I would say that the Farmer's Fair does continue. We're going to be showing that off here in a little bit. That runs through August 30th and gets shut off at 3 a.m. Eastern on August 31st. Also, I did want to do a quick shout out to, this would be Mr. Hobbit. It's at F Flunkies, F Flunkies on Twitter. Uh, MrHobbit.com is the name of the blog. Uh, and they have a quick daily route. I'm not going to be doing the daily route here on the show today because I'm going to be bopping around answering questions and things, but it's a quick daily route for Farmer's Fair. I'm not sure that's going to be able to make it into all versions of the beacon because uh, the localized copy is already back and what have you. But uh, for now, anyway, it's it. I did want to get the word out about that. It's kind of a, a neat little guide that crossed my desk within the past 24 hours or so. All right, uh, I don't know, what else should I talk about here? Let me quick pop on over to the chat, see what kind of maybe pressing questions you might have for me. And then at that, after that, we're just gonna kind of hang out and have some fun here and run Farmer's Fair and whatever else we decide we want to do. Uh, this coffee mug is uh, getting older. It, it does have a few cracks in it and that just from age, but this is from the 10th anniversary and use. I actually use it a lot. Uh, this is not a new SSG shirt. Uh, we've had it, I guess I've had it for about a year now, uh, but it's one I tend to wear a little bit less. I don't, I don't know why. Can I confirm or deny change on the fishing percentages on fishy, very fishy? Uh, as far as I can tell, I can deny that. I don't think we've made any changes. If there's any been any changes, I am not aware of it. Uh, I guess I could say that. Uh, we don't, uh, Missy over on Twitch, we don't currently have like a welcome package that I could give you in terms of having your friends join you. But it's a really cool idea and something hopefully we can do more of in the future. So, uh, <clears throat> On the merch front, uh, I would love to see us do that someday. I've talked extensively on that over the years. We would need to create essentially a merchandising uh corporate arrangement between all the parties involved and it's just a tough thing to get going on uh, i guess is the best way to say it um maybe someday maybe someday we'll see but probably not anytime soon unfortunately has there been any reconsideration to creating a new mac client no uh, we currently support it up through uh, Catalina, but not, or to Catalina. And that is where I think it's going to stay. At least currently that's what it looks like. Oh, we actually have someone from Exodia in the chat room. Congrats. It was an amazing looking video. It really was cool to watch and see that. Thank you, by the way, also to for sharing it. I know some some kinships like to maybe keep some of that video fairly closely guarded, uh, and I I thought it was neat that that you all just put the video out there to to watch, and I thought it was cool. Thank you. Any plans to make Tier 2 Thrang any easier for the people on Shadowfax and Treebeard? Uh, I heard a brief discussion about that yesterday, but I think the answer is no. I don't know, though. I mean, I guess maybe if we... I don't know. Probably not. At least not this Farmer's Fair. And I think by the next one, it probably wouldn't matter. Uh, but, yeah. We'll see. 
Uh, sorry, don't panic if you're running into a technical issue and are having a slow response time with support. I would mention that we are currently facing a not insignificant back backlog on some CS queues. Uh, we made a post about that, what, within the past week here a little bit, that we're, we're a little on the short staffed side. And we are working to address it, but it is going to be a little bit until we're caught up and able to do that. So I believe maybe your technical support issue may have fallen into that that uh, particular bucket, unfortunately. And if that's the case, then I, I apologize, but that may, may be what's going on. But I don't actually know what your issue is, I apologize. Oh, you've not been able to log into your account for a while, quite a while now. Well, I don't know then the specifics of that one. That does sound like a very long time. It sounds like there may be some history there that unfortunately I don't know there. So there you go. Okay, over to Facebook briefly. Could be a moneymaker on the merch. Yeah, theoretically it could. I mean, you'd think it's, you think, right? You'd think. Got someone here saying hello. Yeah, I'm just on camera. Well, I suppose maybe maybe I should start. Maybe that's a sign I should get going here a little bit. Uh, you would think that merch could make you some cash. Good day. Must I, have a word with you? I uh, was running this on Stampy and some yesterday the eve. I think. Yeah, anyway, uh, yesterday the eve I was running some of this, so I'm just going to be kind of popping around, running some of the festival quests here today, uh, bumming around a little bit, and, and just having some fun here on this Friday as the Farmer's Fair kicks off this week. It uh, is running through the 30th of August. Uh, one of the things I knew that I need to do is uh, run to the stables. So, yeah, see, I was picking up some of this stuff uh, yesterday. I think I'm going to not pick that up right now just because, you know. There we are. Uh, yeah, I guess uh, let's see if the timing works out. We'll do Taste of Hobbiton and what have you. But I wanted to... Um, talk to Sally. All right. Maybe not, though, huh? All right, well, and then let's go... Let's see how the keg race is doing. Oh, looks like one may just be getting in process right now, so we, we will probably not do that one then as well. So we will pop back over to the party tree. All right, let me uh, pop over to Facebook chat. Can we increase the cap on Embers of Enchantment? Maybe. Maybe. Can I take a moment of your time? I haven't done that one yet. Stay and have some tea. That's not the right one. Where's my horse? Where's my... Oh, here we go. Go. I should get rid of the donkey there. Uh, I've got some kites to fly. Crashed kites to find. Let's do that one. So there we go. Uh, we could theoretically increase the cap on Embers of Enchantment. Now, there are economic and other reasons why we have so far chosen not to do that. Um, you know, we know people always... There's a push and pull there between wants and needs uh, and 
that's always going to kind of be there. But... We have not particularly felt compelled, as of yet, to increase the cap. And there may be some game data and other reasons why we do not do it as well. But I have not heard of any plans to update the cap on Embers of Enchantment. Any plans to new improvements re-VIP benefits? Yes, I can definitely say yes on that one. Um, you know, discussions on a very high level uh, are... have been taking place about, you know, how to... We, we frequently do that, by the way, too. This is nothing new exactly um, in terms of how we operate but you know we we've often talked about ways to improve uh our vip offerings and make sure that we make offer the best value we saw some of that here most recently uh over on the other game side uh their most recent expansion which came out just within the past couple of weeks here um has a VIP discount associated with it. And perhaps that is something that we'll be able to do on the Lord of the Rings side here in the relatively near future. Um, we also have formalized over on that game side um, with their expansion that released a few weeks ago. The ability to upgrade purchases uh, once purchased through their version of the market so that'll be a feature that we would like to bring to the lord of the rings online side here as well in the relatively near future if possible you know i'm putting all sorts of couch words on it because god knows it's not ready yet uh and we'll see what happens right but but so you know Uh, Dylan Dow over on YouTube asks, uh, looks like we are getting closer to transferring from closed worlds. There have been times where you could copy from the closed worlds to Bullroar. And, um, you know, asking for the... Really if that is a sign of progress, I could say that, yes, that is a sign of progress. I don't yet have an ETA for you, but what it means is that we're working, that work to actually do the migration is taking place, uh, you know, and is, is ongoing. So, we'll see. We'll see. But uh, that work, oops, there we go, uh, is ongoing. And so we'll probably will have more to say about that in the relatively near future. But we're not there yet. We haven't crossed the finish line on that one yet either. So there we are. I'm taking a look at Twitch chat. Uh, considering... Uh, Reninia's comment on the forums, the Lotro forums this week, about increasing our 10 instance per hour limit in a next patch. Uh, would that be an X.1 or XX.X? I don't know. I think it depends largely on how things go over the next week-ish, week or so. Uh, but I think you're largely correct and on track there in terms of kind of what what's going on and what might be possible 
And as far as how that ends up actually being, well, we'll see, right? But, uh, yes is the answer to that in terms of uh, kind of what's going on, so. That, that was such a bad answer. Maybe that was a bad answer. I feel like I didn't answer it very well. So will that be in a post or main update? I don't know. It could be next. If everything falls into place. Uh, I would wager a guess that it might be... Uh, somewhere else. Where, where am I? What am I doing? Uh, did we turn off 32-bit compatibility? Yeah, by default we have swapped over to the 64-bit client. This is true. Um... So that may, in some cases, expose you to the first time for certain... Um, my doc I know someone on the forums, for example, is having an issue with not having screenshots saved to my documents. My, under my belief is that probably is related to a Windows UAC permission. Hello there. Uh, related to writing into my docs. But perhaps I am incorrect. A lovely day, isn't it? Hello there. Might I speak with you a moment? Oh, this is the one. Okay. There we go. Now I'll pick up the quest and do that. Yeah, what else should I pick up? Anything? Yay! All right, good timing. Oh, good day. Let's give it a shot. Oh no, there we go. I was just taste a hobbiton. Well, that's fine. I can give it a second to see if the person pops here while I'm uh, looking at chat. No, I'm not saying the expansion was uh, free to VIPs. They got a 10% discount uh, in the case of what happened over in the other game side with the release of their most recent expansion. Week before last or whatever. Uh, will we be able to provide feedback on the legendary items revamp yes um we're not there yet there's several previews that we'll be doing in you know as we head into the release of gundabad here one i would expect to be a brawler specific preview one i would expect to be a legendary item specific preview or close to it uh and then at, at least one about content and 
everything else, right? But I would expect to see some targeted previews on Bullroar related to Gundabad. Not within the next couple of weeks, though, because we're still cooking ahead on development, but it's not yet at that point in the process. But perhaps something around that time frame afterwards. We'll start seeing a rollout of previews onto Bullroar uh, as we head into the more formal period of public discussion about Gundabad. One of the things that we talked about this week related to Gundabad was the... Oh, yay. Stay and have some tea. All right. Uh, let's just pick Bustle. There we go. Uh, one of the things that we talked about just over the past week or so is some of our website and informational plans for Gundabad. That includes everything from the... What are we going to do in terms of website assets to what kinds of preview things could we do specific? Maybe there may be a possibility of, of some kind of content creator preview or something like that that has been long discussed uh, both internally and as an ask from various people that we might actually be able to do. Uh, this time around. Um, and a few other things kind of like that. I think I think we're working on, you know, something in the range of a dev diary and a few things like that. And then our write-ups on both Brawler and Legendary items are going to have to be pretty extensive because one is a new class and the other one is a pretty significant update to the way that we deal with that whole side of itemization with legendary items so there's quite a bit of guide website informational fact work that's in process and heading of toward its eventual completion here as we get into the period of active public promotion of gundabad I don't want to specifically talk about the scope of the scale of Gundabad, other than to say it's going to be a full-sized expansion. I understand. I, I guess I'm I'm hearing both on Treebeard and oh here we go on Treebeard and Shadowfax and perhaps Honor even that we may want to do some balance work on Tier Two of Thrang. I'll make sure I get that information to the development team. Can I say if Brawler will be released as a pre-order bonus? We'll have a lot more to say about how you will be able to play the Brawler in the coming weeks. But let's be real, that sounds about right, doesn't it? I don't know. That's sort of how the company has typically done that kind of thing. I, am I excited about the current state of Lotro and its team? Seems like we're heading in a big direction. Oh yeah, we got a ton going on in Lotro right now. I mean, a, a ton going on in Lotro. There's a ton of active development and discussions happening uh, at a pretty high level, uh, all the way down to the, the ground level, and a lot of work taking place. So it is pretty exciting to see what's going on right now in Lotro. And we're happy to see you here, and we hope you're having fun. With Honor, the balance of Thrang T2 is perfect. The main issue is giving us enough time to finish the quest. 
Uh, you can't do it tomorrow. That means you're not going to have time to finish the quest unless you manage to get to 115 and fully geared by the end of the festival. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't think we'd be extending the festival just on Honor. Is this an official SSG Lotro stream? Yeah, yeah, it is actually. I work as the community manager for Standing Stone Games. How do you do? Got lucky. Works for me. Well, let's see if we get lucky on the keg races now. Uh, yeah, I am mostly playing on Langerval. Uh, it's just where I happen to have my characters. I try to... I could get into a situation where I start swapping servers. Maybe that's something that I should be doing long term. Well met, but I think we'll have to kind of see what uh, what's up there. Hear me out, traveler. So, uh, yeah. It is. There's tons of stuff that's happening on the Lotra side that we're on our way to... We're on our way to, uh... I'm sorry. I deeply apologize for that bad pawn. But we are on our way to release a whole bunch of information. Um, and we're just not really there yet. Quite there yet, so... You know. They, that is why ultimately the news bit of the show took about ten minutes today, and that's about it. So. No luck, huh? All right. What is the meaning of this? Well, maybe I'll give it a second here while I look through. I think I w am a lucky duck. I think I do have that title. Uh, maybe not on Stampion here, but I've got that on certainly one of my characters. So uh, it, it takes a lot of work to get that Lucky Duck title because you got to be at, you've got to guess correctly on on all of them, and that that can take a while. Uh, that's why I don't quite have this one. Will we get a new character select screen theme music? I would think at some point we would, but I don't actually know when that might be. I, I have not heard of plans to do that for Gundabad. Uh, you've already spotted a new player frame in the item plugin with the last update. Is it just a frame with level 115 on Honor? Or can the legendary server expect additional rewards with Mordor bonuses had slowed in scope with each level cap? Uh, I can't speak to what you might have found accidentally through a plugin, uh, but I could say in general that is the kind of present or reward that we might use for something like that, uh, like a level 115 on Honor. But I, I would need to double check specifically about uh, what that player frame you're referencing is about. Uh, yeah, how can you tell who the drunk hobbits are in this one? You just keep a close eye on the dialogue. There's some spelling errors. There's some kind of um, 
grammatical errors because they'll do things like uh, speak, flip two words, what have you. As with a lot of this kind of thing, yes, you could just uh, use use the wiki. <laughs> but you don't have to. You don't have to. As a matter of fact, uh, that's not bad. Let me uh, get my tenth over to... I think I've got to speak to the fishing hole person. So let me uh, take a quick ride over there and I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. I, too, like it when the pigs judge the local farmers. I think that's my favorite. I think that's my favorite. Squirrel instead of quarrel. Yep, bad maggots instead of mad baggins. Uh, fresh licked vegetables. The toes in your hair. Those are the phrases to look out for. Oh, yeah, mushrooms. I forgot about mushrooms. Yes, mushrooms, too. Uh, more Bjornin Cosmetics. Uh, I could pass along that request. Might I speak with you a moment? Yeah, so then, uh, generally the way I would do this is just turn names off. That helps make it a lot clearer. Uh, people have their own preferences as to kind of which people they watch. I tend to go like this. I'll be dismounted here. And I tend to sit here and look at these people. Because I can just go uh, check out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven at one time. And then I'll just kind of keep an eye on it. And yeah, within about, what, 10, 15 minutes, you'll have what you need. Then over on the fishing hole here is where we're going to want to do some of the other stuff. Whole bunch of NPCs to talk to and, and things to get and or do. A lovely day, isn't it? Is that going to be my tenth? I think that might be my tenth. Nope. Good Not day. quite. Might I have a word with you? Could I take a moment of your time? Uh, fishing. I don't. I think is pretty well covered. But if you need a basic fishing rod, you can get it here. I don't think this character actually has. Well, actually, maybe I have a fishing rod. I'll have to take a look after the show here today but I'm not actually gonna run well am I what time is it 1241 eh, maybe I will run do do? okay oh no here we go yeah I knew someone had got had gotten me a really nice fishing pole there, so. Oh. Sorry, I always do that. Do I not have what I need? Maybe I need to do this later. I guess it's been a while. What am I doing wrong? Why do I not remember what to do? Caught fishing. Oh yeah, the hobbies menu. There we go. There we are. 
There is my icon. Thank you. Gosh. There we go. Watch for the little... Yep, there we go. See what you get. <laughs> oh no, sorry little redhead. <laughs> There, yeah, I would imagine there'll be a lot more fishing stuff on Big Ed Show and what have you. I, I don't really, clearly I don't do a lot of fishing. But. It is, however, not a terrible way to keep an eye on chat at the same time. Uh, hibiscus over in Twitch chat. I'm reading your issue about your inability to get back into your account. It could be that if you hadn't changed your password in years and years and years, that you were impacted by a password reset that was done, geez, about six months ago or so. Uh, you've contacted support. The account isn't just because name on account page was different from what I gave to them. Well, I can't clearly solve a problem, nor would I speak your account name out loud uh, on stream here. Clearly that's not the kind of issue I'm going to be able to solve live on Twitch. But what I would say is that you do need to know your account credentials. And if, if they're not correct, then CES can't help you provide the correct answer. That obviously would not... I don't think that would be a reasonable expectation uh, for CES to, to help you get the verification steps required. Now, if if there's some kind of other issue going on, then hopefully CS will be able to work with you through that issue. But I would expect that that kind of concern might take longer than normal. I know we've had a... It comes up uh, on the community side, I think most often, when... People have very old email addresses that they frankly no longer remember and they're trying to recover their account because they have no other personal information. And so CS will get these things of like, it was a hotmail of some kind. I think, you know, uh, whatever. Hack me at hotmail.com. Uh, and that's just simply not the email address on file. And I know sometimes that can be very frustrating especially if you're trying to reestablish your old account credentials. And account support can do a lot in terms of reestablishing account credentials for people who are in that position. But there is also the reality of if you want to get reaccess to your account, you are going to need to have that information. And if you don't have that information anymore, then you may not be able to get access to your account through customer service. I don't know other than that really what to tell you. But hopefully, it's very, very rare that CS is unable to help people who find themselves in that situation. There is usually a way to get your identity established. But you'd think you would know your own login credentials.
Because it is ultimately just your game login credential. It's your... Uh-huh. Having some difficulty providing to CS. Any idea about Lochar working on the future Steam Deck? That came up in the Lochar forums this weekend. It was a pretty interesting conversation. Now, I am not a techie. <clears throat> I am not a PC enthusiast, as you could say, although I've certainly been using my fair share of computers. My guess is as long as there will be a way to get Windows 10 on it, and my understanding is while it is a Linux-based OS, uh, it should be fairly trivial maybe to get Windows on it. If, it. if you can get Windows on it, then there should be no technical concern, I would think, given its specs, to be able to get a client working. So theoretically, the answer to that is a yes. But it's also, I think, most likely a fairly significant no. I don't know this. I, I don't have a, anything to do with it. There's nothing official going on. It's just a computer, ultimately. As to the extent that it's a computer that can get Windows going and you can get a working interface going by, let's say, plugging in a mouse and keyboard or using some kind of Bluetooth wireless mouse and keyboard solution, then not, it should theoretically work, right? But I suspect in terms of like, the idea of sitting there as a portable unit, you know, controlling it with your thumbs on the joystick, that seems highly unlikely. Highly unlikely. Maybe. Maybe I'll be proven wrong and people will be able to figure out, like, the right user interface thing, but that's not something that's just going to, by default, I think, happen. So, I think we w it's, it's one of those things where it's uh, kind of a yes, but. And that is, yes, but by default, we don't have a native Linux client. But assuming that's not actually an issue, then yes, but, the, like the user entered the buttons, the control pad, how are you going to play with the joystick? Maybe you can, I don't know, maybe. But it seems like it would be unlikely. You'd have the same kind of issues with that that you would have with any other kind of controller mapping at an extensive uh complete experience way that you have on PC. So ultimately to the extent, similar to the Atari VCS that I, you know, picked up around Christmas and that, it's just a PC. So yeah, you can, you can put anything on it. Cause if you can get it on your PC, you can get it on, you know, that device, assuming you can get the operating system working and things like that. But that doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, Lotro is going to quote work on uh, any particular, maybe newer piece of hardware or something like that. Although the specs certainly seem like it should be fine. Any... Whoop. Oh no, it ate my... Well, we got seven seconds left. That's good enough. Uh, I would be shocked if we never did another pet collection deed. I would be absolutely shocked. So I'm going to say... Uh, later, which one? Oh yeah, I forgot about... I need to pick that one up too. Gosh darn it. Worms in the bait bucket. There we go. Yeah, there's that one too. All right. Well, there we are. Uh, I think that's probably pretty close to where we're going to go. Did I? I hit my 10 of 10 already, right? So let me go back and just kind of check that out. Yeah, so it, it, my understanding is it has a touch screen too. Now, I know from my own experience. Uh, trying to get a dual shock working with Lotro over the years. Several times I've I've tried to give that a solid effort. And have never quite succeeded, although I've gotten fairly close. But fairly close isn't good enough. 
Um, but you can use, like, say, the DualShock 4 touchpad. But it's still, in terms of an MMO gameplay, unless you're playing through kind of a specific uh, play style or whatever, it just kind of doesn't work. I guess that's the best way to describe it, is it, it works, but it just kind of doesn't work. Um, and I know that there are some people who maybe do that more regularly for perhaps accessibility reasons, and so it does work functionally but it is not it it's not necessarily the ideal way that you would want to do this kind of thing so so i guess that's what i'd say about that let me defeat some heat waves here and uh cool off Jug of water. So I did not run into a functional issue. No, nope, that's not true. I did run into a functional issue. Um, but I most, for the most part, did not run into a functional issue getting the DualShock 4 mapped for Lotro. Where I did run into an issue is that I was not able to assign the modifier keys that I needed effectively enough to be able to pull off what I needed to do. There was a time in Lotro's past where I know that I've gotten it working before, because I'd done it before. So I know that I was able at one point to use an L1 modifier key, for example, to open up hotbars of various types and other kind of skills and things you might want to do. So I know at one point, at least, it was possible. But I think there must have been a point during some of the X input work would be my guess, but I don't know, where some of that functionality um, kind of lost its effectiveness. And so the problem I've ultimately run into in getting a DualShock 4 mapped is that I've had some trouble mapping the modifier key to what it needs to be. But other than that, I've pretty much had it working. <laughs> Five Book says he forgets to re-equip his weapon before going into combat. Well, I'm going to make you just lose five bucks there, because let's just uh, equip a weapon there. All right. I don't know if it's the right weapon, but it's a weapon. Will the level of Bree Town guards be increased? Um, that does seem like something we should do. That does sound like something we should do. Uh, let me actually pop on over to the... I want to end this stream over at the... Please see. Oh yeah, we were in the middle of doing accusations. Maybe we'll give that a shot here for a minute.
That sounds like some something we should do. I'll uh, keep an eye on that. Will we be able to pre-order Gundabad? We are going to have a lot more information in the near future about how you'll be able to pick up Gundabad, where you'll be able to pick it up, uh, what it'll contain, what the price of it will be, and when it will be available in relation to the release of the content of the expansion all within the relatively near future, but we're not quite there yet. So, for today, that is the most I can say about that. Other than to say that we're, we're getting there. We're getting there, and it's going to be not that far away before we get there. I am talking to people on Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook. I stream to all three of those social media networks. I'm reading questions on Facebook currently. Have we given a thought to allowing a change in character naming? Um, for example, we could do something like have last names included in things. Uh, the idea of it has come up frequently but it would be a pretty significant undertaking to do something like that. Um, I mean, never say never, but that seems like something that isn't too likely to... Oops, squirrel. All right. Yep, strategic persistence, re-getting that lucky duck title and having to get all five of the winners. Run the same racer until you win, then pick the next one. Repeat till you finish or the festival is over. It, it does kind of take a lot. Uh, sometimes it is just random luck. But, uh, yeah... It is ultimately a little bit of a waiting game there. But i that is how I approach it, too. You really want to take it strategically, and I would make sure to just go from the top and go down. That way you don't get confused about who did what. Or how far you are. Popping over to Ever or uh, Evernight, uh, you will keep me safe in the moors. I would like to uh, do some PvP-related streaming here in the future. You know, the Farmer's Fair came out this week and runs through the 30th, so it makes sense to just kind of hang around and, and bop around the Farmer's Fair for Court of the Rings here today. But I do have plans to run uh, a wide breadth of content, uh, including... Uh, some more PvP. I know it's it's a little weird to do PvP on stream. I just kind of get raffle stomped. And I'm not really a PvP person in general, so you're not going to get much in the way of skill out of me related to PvMP. But that doesn't mean I can't do it. And uh, so I will probably make an effort to do that here in the near future. And actually, you know what, I'm sorry, I forgot to turn down, I was meaning to turn down the regular music and let the player music focus. Sorry about that. PVMP on Legendary Worlds, nothing to announce there, sorry. And I think, yep, now we are now at 1 o'clock. So, there we go. Thank you very much for watching Court of the Rings on Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook. Next Friday, reminder that we are going to be doing a Q&A from a series of questions that will be posed throughout the week here 
uh, on Reddit. We're going to create a thread. I want to get done with the show here in a little bit. And then take questions or let those questions grow throughout the week. And then next Friday, we're going to answer as many of them as we can. But um, that'll be next Friday on Court of the Rings. So keep an eye out. Reddit.com slash r slash Lotro for more information about that. Maybe post your questions. Like I say, I have a feeling that in actuality we're going to get so many questions there's no possible way we could fill an hour. Like, it way burst out of an hour into a day. But we'll see. We'll see. At the very least, we'll have an hour's worth of great questions. So we'll do our best to, to make it as valuable a show as we can next Friday. Slupper. All right. Yeah. Have fun, everyone. Hope you have a great weekend. Talk to you again soon.